Entropy in finance and economics is a concept derived from thermodynamics and information theory, which is applied to the study of uncertainty and dynamics in financial and economic systems. As opposed to self-similarity, it quantifies disorder, randomness, and unpredictability in these systems, aiding in risk assessment, portfolio optimization, and policy formulation. Thus, entropy is a measure of the unexpected. For example, Jorian attributes the abnormal losses during the 2008 to 2009 financial crisis to the unexpected, the so-called unknown unknowns. Fratelli suggested a minimal entropy martingale measure, based on the argument that, under some conditions, the said minimization of entropy is equivalent to maximizing the expected exponential utility of terminal wealth. Gaman used entropy maximization to represent the real-world ignorance of the true probability distributions. Kelbert suggested weighted entropy be used for building optimal portfolios for risk-averse Kelly investments. In electroencephalography analysis, entropy measures like approximate entropy and sample entropy assess brain activity complexity and randomness. High entropy values indicate diverse brain activity, while low values suggest more regular patterns. Entropy analysis helps researchers understand brain function, neurological conditions, and treatment effectiveness, contributing to advancements in neuroscience and diagnostic approaches. Our research aims to uncover hidden determinism within ostensibly stochastic financial data and investigate its relationship with market conditions, particularly during market downturns. Entropy serves as a valuable measure for assessing the degree of complexity within systems, by quantifying the average rate of information loss regarding a phase point's position on the attractor. When dealing with multifractal systems, a single exponent is insufficient to capture their dynamics. Instead, a continuous spectrum of exponents is required. The data consist of daily New York Stock Exchange U.S. index values from January 12, 2004 to September 26, 2023. The table and the figure shown above present summary statistics of daily log returns and their corresponding histogram, respectively. It is evident that these data exhibit negative skewness and positive kurtosis, which are common characteristics in financial data. In our investigation of the New York Stock Exchange Index and its constituent components, we uncovered multifractal characteristics. Furthermore, we have demonstrated the effectiveness of using entropy as a tool to identify market conditions, whether they are bearish or bullish. This approach provides valuable insights into quantification of the unexpected or the so-called unknown unknowns. Specifically, we have proposed a methodology that involves detrending the data through differencing, thereby improving the precision of change point identification for segmentation. Within each data segment, we have computed key metrics, including sample entropy, mean, and volatility, and have quantified the relationships between entropy and these statistics using Spearman rank correlations. In terms of entropy, our findings challenge conventional wisdom, as we have demonstrated that SAMPEN increases with price downfall. This revelation rectifies a common misconception, wherein reduced entropy during market crises might be inadvertently interpreted as increased self-similarity or determinism. Our research highlights the potential confusion between shifts in volatility and bear markets. Once the trend has been removed, one may clearly see that. Importantly, our study suggests that bear markets do not necessarily indicate increased determinism. Instead, turmoil is more likely to correlate with heightened entropy, signifying a greater likelihood of extreme negative returns and loss-bearing outliers. <laughs>